My name is Chris Joku. I welcome you to an exciting moment in this video course. Today, we are going to be launching a Microsoft Word. And then we look at the Windows and Ribbon features. Launch your Microsoft Word. Come to your bottom left and you click the Start menu. This is a group of applications owned by Microsoft. So I click on it and this is what we intend to click on, which is the Microsoft Word. I am using Microsoft Word 2019. So if you're using an earlier version, uh, a more recent version, there is actually no much difference. So we'll click on a blank document. And so this is the Microsoft Windows and Ribbon features displayed before us. I'm going to be taking some time to just show us around. This is a complete window that has all the features you need to walk around your document. I'm going to start by showing us the quick access to and every other to the ribbon the rulers the scroll bar insertion points document window vertical ruler status bar view options and everything we need to work okay without wasting much of our time let's go into this This is the file tab that is slightly different from a very old version of Microsoft Word, like the Microsoft Word 2007 and earlier versions where you see the window or um, logo here. But in this case, what you have here is the file tab where my cursor is presently at. This area provides access to options such as open for you to open an existing file and then new to create a new file and then save as. As you mean you're working on a file and then you need to save it as a different file format or with a different name. That is where you find them. Like I'll click on that. This is it. It shows us new, open, save, save us. So that is what is obtainable from the file tab. Now, this is the title bar where my cursor is. If I try to give this document a name, this is where the type two will appear. As it is now, document one means that it has no name. This is um, Microsoft Word giving it uh, its own name automatically. So, in the course of the course, I'm going to be naming it appropriately to save it with a particular name. So, that is the title bar. And then we call this region ribbon. The ribbon displays groups of related commands. And so, as we are going to be walking, we'll be seeing the groups of the related commands we're talking about. For example, we're seeing paragraph written here. These are groups of commands. Everything here, they are, they are grouped. You click on it. And so, you can see a lot of options here on that paragraph. They, they, that's uh, the commands that are inside the paragraph. 
now this is another group you can see this is the font group where you can decide from new romance or calibri as you're seeing it now there are other names there you can also decide to increase the size of the font so these are the group of commands that are inside the font and that is just how the ribbon is and then you can try to bring in some features that you use very often you can bring it here and then you customize it as you want and then you walk around by customizing it so that is just how um and the groups of commands are and then this is the horizontal ruler this is a horizontal ruler as we move into the course proper we're going to see the advantage of the horizontal ruler and then this is the vertical ruler to my left this is the vertical ruler you can use it to change the position of the margin from the top you can as well do the same thing from the bottom another thing i'm going to show you is the insertion this seeing a point blinking here we'll call it the insertion point if you decide to start typing now that is where the typing will commence from like i'm doing now you can see it's a session point and then you raise it and then you see it there that is the insertion point and then we we'll also have the scroll bar to my uh, uh, right now this is a scroll bar and you decide you can use it to look at document very well from top to bottom that is the scroll bar and then there's also the zoom slider this is the zoom slider here as you can see let me move this away so it's this is it you see it at 100 percent you can change the size you can see how big it is so this is what we call the zoom slider by default it's always at 100 percent so that is um the much we can uh, talk about the windows and ribbon features